Hello everybody, this is Zigzag Zog coming to you from Western Kentucky and where we left off, let's go take a look. We just took over this Han city of Lujiang in a somewhat bloody street battle. Sun Tse, he's fast moving back from Lu Biao's territory where he got defeated by Hei Yi, but we also had a minor battle with his leftover forces. And we are headed, all of us, Sun Tse and Sun Jian, are headed to converge on Zhangjia farmland. Because it looks like Cao Cao's little force that he sent in there is probably going to take it over. And we are going to need to take it back. So let's start the process. Let's get out of forced march because I'd like to on the way our funds. I just noticed our look and really good up here over 7,000. I got to spend some of that. Let's move Sun Tse into the city. He'll be in, I think, two-turn range no matter what to get up to the farmland. So while he's in the city, we'll recruit our last trebuchet, get this force filled out until we get one more general. And uh, Sun John, I don't think we have any recruiting I'm going to do with you. Ah, I take that back. Why don't we... First of all, see if we can put you back in command. There we go. And while we're at it, let's take a look at these light axe band and see if we can upgrade them to archers. Just so I can finally, I've been talking about it for how long now? Finally upgrade into archers to increase my archery rank. So I'm thinking... Uh, it's light blow, light bow mercenary, but they're so much better than the regular militia. So yeah, let's let's upgrade them. Here we have the funds, 110 turn upkeep. It's higher upkeep, but oh, what nice archers those are going to be. So let's do that, and then we'll upgrade this one. I'm gonna feel better about this too. Now let's take a look at our, well, let me move him out first towards the farmland. Let's go Sun Jian, no rest for the wicked. You just got out of a battle, but we need you over here in the farmland for support. Even though we're gonna lose it, we need to snap it back as quick as we can. And he is on the way there. Okay, let's take a look. What else can we build and where? Zhang Jia. We continue our march and our upgrade on our patrols and barracks that we're supplementing our garrison with. And we got, we got, we, we've come to a fork in the road, so I've got to kind of determine which fork I want to follow in the building. Let's see. So these two over here, when you get up to max level, hurts the enemy's supplies as they move into the um, the commandery, I would think. So let's let's go on this side. I kind of like it. it has more of that defensive mind to it by hurting the enemy's supplies if they're approaching me. So that's the way we're going to go since this this row this row of just north of the river or if we get over here just south of the river that's going to be my line to the north so that's where i want to have stronger garrisons and i will farther down in there so that's why i'm spending my money that way to help on what will be the defense for my frontier as i envision it and finally do we have anything else Zhangling? i think Yes, Cheng Pu has arrived back in Zhangling, so let's upgrade that pier. I've been looking to upgrade, increase my commerce income there, and a slight, slight food increase at the same time. Having lost that farmland, I'm a little more concerned all of a sudden about the food. So I think that is good place to leave the building and leave our funds so we still have a little in reserve. And let's see if we lose the farmland and what the next turn brings to us. Hmm. <laughs> There's the battle I expected, and we're looking. Uh, rather than do just such a minor attack that we are going to lose, I'm just going to delegate this battle. Um, I don't see myself 
doing any better with what, you know, with these generals here attacking versus just my weakened garrison force. So we're just going to delegate this expected loss. And we're just going to have to retake this farmland. And it is a close defeat. He lost 429 and I lost my whole garrison. And hey, ye who appeared up in the north is just kind of passing through maybe it looks like. Okay, we're into the spring. Let's see, diplomacy, nothing super nearby. We'll just kind of brush through it unless we see somebody. My settlement was lost, no duh. Shameful defeat. I don't know if it's shameful, but yes, I left my back door open and he swooped in and took advantage of it. And Kongju, nobody, no, no diplomacy news for anyone right near us. People of Merit, we'll look at who is passing through our area. Yes, we, and we also had recently hired Kui Shang Ping, who is an administrator for me. Who's this guy look like? Vain, disloyal. No, not the kind of guy. <laughs> those first two traits alone, not the kind kind of guy I want to be spending my money on to bring bring into the fold. And here we're looking at vengeful, brave. I don't know if I'm looking at a another vanguard needing. I. I like to get something different, something good to come in other than those. So we're going to let them pass. Move on, move on. And we built in Changsha our merchant registry office. So we'll take a look. We may have enough funds to do some other building there, but we'll see what the turn brings. Hey, Yi, looks like he was growing, but he has shrunk. Kong Zhu has taken over his iron mine here that had, I, I think that was his starting area. So uh, even though he is expanding, he's losing at the same time, so. And yes, and my commandery is contested. So we're gonna need to do something about that. Let's start moving up. In fact, we can't make it quite there in this turn. So what we will do is move up to the border itself. Yeah, we can't quite, so we'll just get one more turn of replenishment by moving up to the border. And I'm thinking we'll do the same because we got some weakened units here. So I think we're going to do the same with Sun John and then prime ourselves to advance and take it over after one more turn of replenishment in our own area. Um, someone got promoted. Lufan, what are our opportunities here? Kind of thinking moving along the track of getting the fire arrows for you. So I think we're just going to work on precision now, which improves my armor pierce damage and my Firing rate for ranged units, 10%. So yeah, I think that's just what we're going to take for him. Lufan. And what else are we going to... I said we'd look and see if we have any building opportunities. I don't know if we have anything. Yeah, I kind of want to gain the, tier, the, the T to the south of me so I can take that building path. Um, the tea parlor so I since without having tea I, it's blocked out to me So I think we're just gonna hold on to funds down there and not do any building this particular turn And let's see what kind of reform we want to look at here Couple options Oh this needs to be built up this way So many choices, so many choices. I'm leaning towards, at the moment, reducing my building upkeep pottery bricks. I'm also thinking as I take back the farmland, I think this is going to help expansion in that area. So let's do that because we know I'm going to take back that farmland, don't we? We know it. Okay. I think we're all placed and primed for the moment. 
Let's see what the next turn brings. See if we, if he's feeling pinched over here, or if he's gonna run away or make a make a last stand in the farmland. Let's find out. And he decides to do a little run away, <laughs> feeling threatened by the pincer movement. And he will give me peace, Dong Zhuo. But you know, I have all the Han Empire that I want to keep keep taking over, so I don't think peace is in my best interest, sir. So we're going to reject that. I'm still looking to expand. If I can ever get some of these thorns out of my side, like Cao Cao to the north. Okay, a coalition has become a military alliance now, Yuan Shao and Cao Cao. So uh, we got a little bit going on to the north. That includes, let's see, alliance still includes Cao Cao, Kongzhu. Oh, that's, that's lovely. He's right on my northern border. So we're going to have to be wary of him right to the north. And Lady Wu, very good news. Let's take a look at where your promotions potential brings us. Is there any followers available for you? No, everybody is you, so we haven't missed out there. Let's see, we have perception. We can ignore the forest penalties and we uh, increases our chance of avoiding an ambush. Understanding, industrial exploitation. Not so important important for me with since you're I'm using you currently as a general, but if we get the right force in place, you'd have some interesting administrator abilities that we may at some point decide to change how we're using you. I have that thought going on in my mind. So I don't know if I have the perfect promotion for you. Um, we're going to go with uh, increasing your authority and ignoring the forest penalties. Not that I love, as you know, the forest battles. Um, and we have our authority really close to the magic number of 100. And let's apply that as our promotion. Okay. Sunse, I think we want to move right in on that farmland. I'm not sure where he retreated to over here. Maybe by taking over the farmland, we'll get some vision on him. Let's see if we can do it. And we have a decisive victory on our hands here. And I think just because of the lopsidedness of it, what do you think? Decisive victory, superior forces, 1726 versus 1993. Let's just fight this one. What the heck? And you know why? I want to have some fun with my my newly recruited f units of my trebuchets. And let's just, we haven't, doesn't seem like we've done a battle in a while. Let's just have some fun with this one and, and fight it out on the field. Okay, enough chitter chatter, guys. Let's get into the battle. And we got a little bit of raindrops. Oh yes, we've had we know this battlefield. We've had a battle here when we first took over the city. We got our little hill over here. He, in the past, was starting out in the trees over there. So I think we'll do the same position. We'll get our archery force to move up and be able to start firing at the top of that hill on him. And I do have some cavalry units that we can group, try and bring around. Even though not all are anti-archery cavalry, we're still going to group them all 
something gather over here. And then the frontline force that will end up holding holding their movement against me. We'll just place you guys over here. All right. Group you. We'll group the archers together. And why the heck? There we go. Let's move up the hill, start this battle. We got everybody moved to go up that hill. Take the uphill position. And it looks like he's moving straight over towards the cavalry. So let him be diverted over there for a little bit as we get ourselves set up on the hill. Yeah, it looks like they're starting to notice me up on the hill now and make that turn away from the cavalry. And let's just start firing the trebuchets into them before they get too close to make any good use of them. We'll start moving the cavalry up in the back side as some of his archers take notice. In fact, let's just move into those archers. There, he's moving into range. Much more enjoyable with proper archers to rain down <laughs> rain down on him as he's moving up the hill and the cavalry in the back smashing through their unprotected archers there we knew this would be an easy battle. I, I just hadn't used the trebuchets in a while and I wanted to get back in practice. It feels like a while that I've played a freaking battle. Come on, you crossbowmen, move back out of there. Don't be silly. You're not my hand-to-hand -hand forces. And there we go. Fun little battle just to get me back into the flow of fighting a battle. It was a simple one, so the little mistakes I was making along the way didn't pay and just get us back in the groove. So hopefully when we have a bigger battle here coming up soon, we'll be more prepared for it. And it was, thank goodness, a decisive victory. And at the same time, gave me a little more practice. 14 here was, and let's regain that farmland that was wrongly taken from us. And we have him sitting over there. Can 
Sun John Reach. Let's just teach him a lesson then. I think it's about time he learned, Cao Cao, not to come down. Thinking he can own this place. And he runs away. <laughs> okay, I think we'll just camp out at this point. Having chased him off from our territory. The patrol bar barracks have completed. Lady Wu. I think I took I, I took care of her promotion that we saw. And Sensei Lu Fan are gaining friendship, oath sworn. And we've resecured the commandery in Zhangjia. We knew that we were pretty good odds that that was gonna happen for us. Now let's take a look. We have building opportunities in Changsha, Lu, Zhang, and Zhangjia. Now that we've taken over the farmland, is there anything? The farmland's okay here. I have the ability to increase, and it helps increase the garrison at the same time, and I have enough money to do it. Now that I've taken it over, let's just do that and make that a harder nut to crack next time if he brings down some measly little half stack force uh he may have a harder time next time let's hope at least that he'll have a harder time next time and let's now move on and see now that we've gained back the territory that was rightfully uh, <laughs> that we rightfully took earlier in the game Some secretive movements in the background. We'll have to keep our eye on that. He's trying to swing around now. Let him go against Lu Zhang, though. I don't care. He doesn't have the force to take over a walled city. In his dreams, in his dreams. Peace treaty with Yuan Shao. Fine. Another peace treaty. Yuan Shu declared war on Wang Lang. And Zhao Yu, talented, loyal, handsome, Zhao Yu befriended Sun Tse at a young age. The two became inseparable as children and often spent time at each other's residences, showing respect to their families. Zhao's musical ability is considered peerless and a representation of his keen mind and kind manner. So we have a new character to go take a look at here. Zhao Yu. Resourceful, loyal, isn't that wonderful? Cunning. And we're friendly with everybody. What kind of you take? Mounted archers. So we're going to have some fun with a different kind of melodic strategist. In fact, I'm leaning towards Zhou Yu. I'm leaning towards just at a first thought off the top of my head. I'm leaning towards uh, maybe freeing up um, Lady Wu. Because I already have a strategist with Sun Tse, your, your childhood friend thinking of freeing up Lady Wu from her generalship and replacing you with her, replacing her with you, then focusing Sun Jian perhaps more on cavalry since you would then be able to take over the archery side of things. So yeah, I got all sorts of stuff going on, but we'll take a look at how that may develop. Now that we have a new character in the fold, that's kind of fun. Keep my mind thinking. So Hei Yi is now established a new capital and he is down to just one. So he expanded real fast and he has shrunk real fast. And the, the, the path has, <laughs> has taken him to our left, to, to, the, to the west. We have some new people of merit moving through. Let's take a quick old peek over here. More strategists. Strategists coming out of the woodwork. I don't need, I don't think, a new strategist at this time. So let's just pass that up and move on. 
Traits, Sun Ren and Liu Fan have created some traits. Sun Ren, our child, is now cheerful, and Liu Fan has gained the honest trait, increasing his resolve. And as if he's not, oh, that he he has reduction of corruption if he's a prime minister or faction heir. Ancillary, we have a wooden ox. I'm not sure if I have anybody that needs resolve, but I let's take a look. I may have somebody. Ooh, we have some promotion opportunities with our newest member of the court also. So let's just take a look at that first. So he comes to us enabled with fire arrows. Isn't that a cool thing? We have the ability to gain scholarship. He 40% income from commerce, and that's an, ad, an administered commandery. So I'm talking about right away using him as a, in a generalship position, but I can also see Zhu Yu, Zhao Yu becoming more of an administrator too. So let's focus on the military side of things first. That's where we'll get the most immediate benefit from him. Oh, and we also we have more than one promotion to get him get him going. And we can enable flaming shot. Oh, I thought we already have oh, fire arrows. So we have flaming shot also. Yeah, let's just continue down this path, the military path, because that's how I'm first going to use our new strategist. And then let's see, what has he got in his court here? I don't have anything really enticing that way, and I don't think I have anybody else missing anything needing resolve, so we'll just equip you here to increase your satisfaction. Just kind of have it in a holding pattern. Okay. So Sun John, I think what we're going to do for you is we're going to take you back through Lujiang and to the south and try consolidating this commandery to the south. We have Lujiang down here territory and Lujiang down that way territory and I think that's the extent of it, yeah. So I think I'm going to send Sun Sun John down along the river, backtrack, curl around back along the river to secure this other commandery, make that one complete. That's my thinking there. And since we still do need some reinforcement, some replenishment, I'm not gonna force March to get that done. We'll just move gracefully along on our own here. And then we're gonna keep some say in reserve just in case this guy wants to pop back right away so i i'm thinking we're gonna keep some say there and we've taken care of that ancillary so i'm thinking temporarily that's where it's gonna go um do we have anybody up here one guy I think temporarily what I may need to do is get these two armies. I think I may want to take Lady Wu out of Sun John's forces. That'll deplete the cavalry. I'm gonna have to, I don't have a lot of funds. So I, I eventually wanna get Lady Wu out of that army and there's a nice parking spot over with Sun Tse while I uh, promote his friend Zhao Yu into Sun John's army and then that'll in, involve some repositioning or changing or changing out of forces to get them to the right match I want the way I like to play um, but I don't quite have the full amount of funds that I want to be able to do that all at once so we're just gonna keep moving the way we are and then at some point we'll have the funds that I'd like to have to make those those changes possible so as of right now let's just move on And Cao Cao retreats all the way. We may have to look at negotiation-wise if, if they're still anxious or he is still anxious. We have some movement down in, in towards Cao Cao. A 
noble birth. Sun John and Lady Wu have given another birth, a joyous occasion, a son. Another son has been born. New blood keeps the line strong, but may also give rise to jealousy of other siblings feel their own position is threatened. Huang Gai has gained the trait uncomplicated, adding to his resolve and increasing the recruitment cost for him. So uncomplicated isn't necessarily all a good thing. And another person of merit looks like a strategist. It'd be nice if somebody other than a strategist would wander through at one point. Um, unless we're looking at some point getting Hu Xiaoping back in an army, but she's administering right now. I'm not not looking for another strategist. So let's just close that off for now. We got a few more years since till we get another child coming of age, so nothing much going on there. Let's take a look at any quick deals we have the ability to make. Another trade. I hope I haven't been overlooking that for too long. But uh, let's take a look. Hey Yi Mei, Yuan Shao far to the north part of that alliance as far as i know let's take a look at a trade deal what he might want for that. so he's got a lot of wars going on that's for sure Allied Cao Cao Kong Zhu right to my north so maybe it would behoove me to make a trade deal with him. Maybe they'll start l changing some attitudes there. Do we have an ancillary that we can trade? Yeah, I'm not really getting much, and that's 433 melee damage, 1k armor piercing. That's, to me, a tradable weapon. Let's see how that... It's not one I'm getting use of at the moment, and it puts it in my favor now, so let's kind of balance that out a little bit. We'll put it in their favor a little to try and improve attitudes here. Let's see. We got a new trade deal that will help our income. And hopefully then that will help support me in changing the makeup of the armies that I'd like to have. Kong Zhu right there on my northern border. Boy, wouldn't it be nice to have a non-aggression pact with you. Let's see how open you are to that. Let's negotiate. No, I guess. Let's see. Once again, it's going to take a little finagling to be able to make that happen. I don't really want to trade anything yet. I don't have any throwaway territories yet. Do I have any other tradable ancillaries that are not getting a lot of use? Not great armor. I picked it up and haven't really had a chance to use it. Let's see what kind of value that gets me. And once again in my favor, so let's request a payment and see if we can get a non-aggression pact to the north. Wouldn't that be nice to get a little buffer on the north? Not that that would keep Cao Cao from moving straight through as he has been, but I don't need both Cao Cao and Kong Zhu going at me at the same time at this moment. I want to I want to get some more expansion going. So we got a non-aggression pack right to the north now. Okay. I'm feeling better about potentially moving Sun Tse out. Of course, we still got Cao Cao, who's shown he's prone to... Let's continue our loops to the south to 
lock, secure the commandery. And Sun Tse, I'm going to not initially move you very far, but we are going to start moving you away. Because wouldn't it be nice if you could sneak away enough to complete our Changsha commandery? I just don't know if that'll... You're going to get called right back. I'm not going to move you too far away to start with. Because it sure leaves things exposed up here in the north. And I don't want to lose the farmland and go back and forth with that yo-yo. Okay, so let's move on again. Let's see, I have 4366 to spend. Do I have any buildings that need some attention? Zhang Ling over here. Well, the pier has built, so let's take a look at how we want to grow this pier. Um, food production through plus three. We get more food production here, but our income is improved on this. And what is this? We need spices for that one. What do we need over here just to be able to build? So I'm, I'm kind of thinking I like the look of this path and that's the way we're going to go. And our funds are getting a little on the low side. We have the ability to build in Luzhang. What can I build that would make sense? Can't quite upgrade the guard post. And otherwise, what we can build is probably another, another building track tree. And I think we're just going to save our funds here and move on for one more turn. Yuan Shu, he wants to know he will give me payment if I join war against Hei Yi. Well, I think that may work to help out my good bud. I got Sun Tse kind of moving in that direction. I was going to turn south, but he could just continue across to help against Hey Yi, so I'm thinking uh, I can join my best bud there, Yuan Shu, and we, we will accept the payment and join his war against Hei Yi. You're welcome. And Yuan Shu, common, requesting military support against Zhang Yan. And he wanted, you're just wanting my help all over the place, aren't you? If I reject that, do I risk the coalition? Well, I don't think it's anybody near me that's going to matter so much. So we're just going to keep Yuan Shu at this moment happy and we will accept. And see if that was the right decision or not. We will find out. Functions on. We got some diplomacy things going on. Let's see if we got anything super close that would impact us too much. And yes, we know about those that we are, we joined in on our own. And we've declared war on Zhang Yan. Traits gain. Lady Wu is now philanthropic, increasing her authority even more. And Cheng Pu is being recalled now, which is fine because we got that that thing built before he got recalled. Oh, we got some new characters moving through. Is it anybody that I can find some use for? Liu Dai. Flames of the Phoenix. Ah... Uh, He's someone I might think of, a new vanguard. Someone to ponder, but not this turn. And we gained an ancillary, a traitor. Adds, unlock surplus markets and 5% trade. So let's see who needs or who can best 
use a traitor. Perhaps you down here? And that's where I think I'm going to put it. It'll give you a new choice for something to do in the cities we assign you to as administrator. And we finished our Zhangjia farmland. So our garrison here should be better also now. Yep, they just need to muster back up because they're weakened from all that fighting. But that will help increase our forces there, make them a little more intimidating, hopefully. Okay, Sun John, we're going to move you down to the Lu Zhang lumberyard. Take our first move. Can't quite make it. We're going to take some attrition in, or at least to our supplies are going to take a hit. In the winter being in foreign territory, but that shouldn't be too bad. Doesn't look like we have any big forces in defense there. And Sun Tse, we're going to start moving you over towards Heiyi to offer support for our best bud over there. And I think we are going to, at this time, Lu Zhang, the one thing we will do is we will increase your guard post there. And I think just time-wise, even though there hasn't been a lot of battles, except just that one little cheesy battle that I chose to do because I needed the practice. It seems like it's been a while since we've had a nice open field battle. Um, I think what we're gonna do is call this an episode and we'll have some potential action coming in next time as we move to solidify the commandery here. And we'll see if Sun Tse is able to help out and defeat Hei Yi and get more in favor with our best bud to the north here. Zigzag Zog signing off from Western Kentucky. Thank you for watching. I appreciate anybody who takes the time to take a peek at this playthrough give me any comments likes dislikes if you're having fun subscribe let me know how i'm doing have a great one everybody bye bye